Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review the Xped Mega Mat 10 LXW self inflating camp pad. This thing's a monster. This is not something you're probably going to want to carry around backpacking, but it works great for me in the style and type of winter camping that I do. This is rated to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius. It's got an R value of 8.1. It's a very big pad. It's a little over 31 inches wide and it's uh, 78 inches long. So it accommodates all of my sleeping bag and all of me. And it's very, very comfortable. So really it's like half of a, of a queen size bed as far as the dimensions go. And I spent decades on my half of a queen size bed. So this is really no different than sleeping at home. Now this is a long-term review. I've slept on this thing. For the first year I had it, I slept on it in conjunction with the Nexped Mega Map Max. I built a custom hickory uh, bed frame for these. And uh, I would sleep, uh, for the first year, I slept on this sleep pad in the, uh, the Mega Map Max, which is two inches thicker than this. So I had a 10 inch mattress for like a year. Um, nowadays, this is really the one that I take with me almost all of the time. Um, only if I'm going on a real extended trip in real cold conditions will I take the uh, Xped Mega Mat Max because this here is all the comfort I really need. Um, so let me go over a little bit. It uh, weighs 91.7 ounces, which is heavy. Um, that's a little over five and a half pounds. The pack dimensions of this are about 9.8 inches in diameter, they say, and 31.1 uh, inches long. It comes with a hand-operated pump, uh, a repair kit, which consists of this Trico material, um, and some glue in there and instructions. It also comes with a strap to wrap around the pad when you got it packed. And then it also comes with this Sidewinder um, storage sack <coughs> or, or pack sack uh, that they give you. It's a dry bag, but instead of being open on the short ends, it opens on the long end. So you can roll it up and put it in there and then operate it like a normal dry bag and clip it up. Um, and we'll go over that. I wanted you to see it first, the way it looks when it's fully self-inflated. I haven't added any extra air to this mattress. I just opened up the intake valve, put the dongle in there, and let it just naturally loft on its own. So this is just self-inflated. I haven't added any more air to it. Now, this is how I like my mattress. As a matter of fact, at some times it feels like it's a little much and I have to let a little out. So it's extremely rare for me to need or want to use this. Um, I sleep on my side. I weigh about 155 pounds, I'm 5'10". Um, I've always liked a soft mattress, otherwise my hips and my shoulders hurt. So, um, I usually sleep on a cot, but I'll sleep directly on the ground as well. But this, I've got both the air in valve and the air out valve open on this right now. And it's been that way since I went camping last a few weeks ago. So, this is how it is just on its own. I haven't added any extra air to it. So, so they call it the Xped Mega Mat 10 LXW, and the 10 refers to the thickness of the pad, 10 centimeters, which is about four inches. When I measure it, as it sits right now, it's uh, it's about three and three quarter inches thick. If you you know, don't include this here. Um, but when we add air to it, um, it will get thicker. So I wanted you, to, I wanted you to see this first in the state that it will self-inflate to. And then now what I'll do is I'll inflate it. 
inflate it more so that you can see. That's like let me see if I can show you this. Um, you got two ports there. This goes on the intake port, which is the left hand one. Kind of hard to get in there, you gotta snap it in. But then I'm just gonna start pumping this. as I go along. Um, there's pump, uh, 10 pumps into it and already I can see it tottening up. Okay, so that's about 30 pumps that I put into it. I can tell the top is hotter, but you could keep pumping this up until you could literally see, you know, these wrinkles would go away and it would be more, you could see the baffles more pronounced. I can't sleep on something that hard. I can't sleep on something this hard. Um, that's pretty firm, at least for me. And you know, if you get one of these, this can be tough getting this on and off. You just gotta really grab it, pull hard, snap, squeeze. You know the drill. So, um, I've been really pleased with this camp mattress. Like I say, it does weigh, you know, five and a half pounds. Um, it's bulky, almost 10 inches in diameter, 31 inches long. <clears throat> Uh, it's, it's a big thing to pack. Um, but I usually go for three or four days at a time or longer um, when I go winter camping. And I want to be comfortable and I want to be warm. I have never been cold sleeping on this. And most times I'm sleeping on a cot as well. Um, so I put this directly on my, uh, I've got a Cabela's Alaskan Guide cot um, that works really well for me. And I put this on there, and uh, it really gets me through everything. I mean, I use this probably 99% of the time. I do own a Mega Mat uh, Max, which is two inches thicker than this. But honestly, I sleep on that every day. I built the custom bed frame for it, and I sleep on that every day, and it's plenty comfortable. Um, I slept on this every day for over a year. Um, this does not leak. Um, I've read people on forums say that they went in cold weather camping for a week and that they only had to add air to it a couple few times. Well, I would venture to speculate that unless they had a leak in there, that it was getting colder as they were camping. And when it gets colder, of course, air contracts and it will seem less full. Um, as far as the self-inflating goes, um, I have had a couple of situations where it doesn't inflate. Um, after a couple hours, it still seems like, what the heck? And that, I think, is due to uh, the temperature and uh, the barometric pressure. So, like I said, this is really firm for me. Um, I'd start getting sore shoulders, sore hip with that extra 30 pumps in there. Um, quite often what I'll do, you know, if I am in a situation where it's not um, self-inflating as quickly as I, I need it to, um, I will pump it up and then I'll lay on it and then as I'm laying on it, I'll toggle the exhaust port and let air out uh, manually while I'm laying on it until I get it comfortable the way I want it. Um, but man, I could... I could sleep forever on this. It is extremely comfortable for me. Um, like I say, I like a soft mattress and uh, this really fills the bill for me. Um, most camp pads, they're either uh, tubular or uh, they're seamed together on the side, like you know, they come together like this. 
so you don't actually have a sidewall on it. This has got an actual sidewall that allows it to really loft up into a mattress. You know, you don't roll off the edge. It stays firm all the way from edge to edge, and that's really nice. Um, the size is awesome. 31 inches wide, 78 inches long. Um, my big winter sleeping bags fit on this great. Um, super warm, super comfortable, because that's what I'm into. I have some sleep disorders, and this really helps me to get a good night's sleep regardless of the temperature and the conditions outside. Um, I sleep in a six-man dome tent with a cot. I can stand up and walk around in it. It's not a hot tent. I use a propane heater when I want to sit around and enjoy some warmth, but I never run heat at night. I rely upon my sleeping bag and my sleep pad to keep me warm. So this is just part of my winter camping sleep system. Like I say, I have my cot, which I usually use. I have the pad. I have the bag. I have my pillows. And then I have my sleepwear. All of that is part of my sleep system. And I have various levels and stages of sleep systems. But primarily, this is my go-to camp mattress. Um, I use it every time. I mean, I don't think I've used my other mattress or mattresses at all in the last two years. <laughs> um, I just really, really like this. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out into the hallway and uh, I'm going to roll it up so you can see what it's like to actually put this into a storage sack and then we'll pull it back out and we'll open it up and then we'll see how long it takes to get back up the thickness. Okay, so I'm out here in the hallway. I don't have a whole lot of space, but I just want to show you how easy this thing is to um, uninflate. It looks gigantic. It looks like you can't get it in that bag, but just watch. The exhaust port on this is one way only. So air can go out, but it can't come back in, which is really slick. Um, so what I do is I fold it into uh, quarters, basically. About a quarter there. You can hear that air just rushing out of there. And then I'll fold it again. And I'll do this right on my cot. I'll just kneel on my cot and I don't have to get out on the ground at all. And again. And now it's rushing out of there. That's just my body weight. Okay, so now, since that air is not going to go back in there, I can open it back up and roll it. Just make it really tight at first. There's really not a whole lot of air coming out of here, and it won't until we get to the end. So I had both the intake and exhaust ports open, which is probably not good, but um, now I can close both valves. The intake valve could have been closed already, I just didn't close it. Um, this is the exhaust valve. Snap that. And you take this Velcro strip. Snap 
this out around there. Get the Sidewinder dry bag. The pump fits in a little, it's rather phallic looking. Um, it fits into a little pocket on the inside of the stuff sack on the ends. This thing fits in here real nice. I'm gonna just try to get that air out of there. Twist it up in what I would guess would be called true side wonder fashion. And there you go. The XPED Mega Mat. 10 LXW. Let's take a look and see how that packed down. Okay, so I've got my tape measure here. It's uh, under nine, um, under nine diameter, about 31 long. And it's just over five pounds. So now what we're gonna do is we'll go back in my gear room and we'll put it on the table and we'll see how long it takes to self-inflate. Okay, back in my room. We'll take it out of the stuff sack. I haven't had to use this in three years. I put it directly on the ground several times. Good materials. There's even some instructions printed inside the stuff sack there. All right, I'm gonna take this strap off. And we'll just let it self inflate. We're going to see how long that's going to take. Now we are in a 72 degree room and it's high pressure, so it may not inflate this quick outside in the cold. But right now it's, uh, it's about 10 till 1 in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to let this sit. I'll come back and uh, I'll just keep monitoring it, and when it gets back up to that level, we'll we'll see how long it's been, and uh, take it from there. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's only been four minutes. Now, granted, this wasn't compressed for a very long time. I had just wrapped it up, but within four minutes, this has come back to the the same loft that it was when I first started this video. Um, that's just how amazing this pad is. So usually I don't have to use the pump. Um, when I set my tent up and my cot up, I get my bag out and my pad out. I just let that self inflate. And uh, unless it's midnight and cold and windy and I'm tired as hell, um, I've always got time to let this uh, inflate on its own. While we were waiting for this to loft up, I checked the specs and this top fabric is a 50 denier polyester trico and the bottom fabric this gray and the sidewalls uh, they are made from a 75 denier polyester fabric um, so it's pretty durable like I say I've put it straight on the snow many times I probably should put a footprint down 
but um, I've put it directly on ice and snow and the bottom does wet out a little bit but it dries up pretty fast in the morning uh, in the sun uh, but I've been really pleased with this I mean I'm older and I've developed several sleep problems uh, early morning insomnia uh, onset insomnia uh, restless leg syndrome night cramps all kinds of crap um, so I found that I'm able to sleep like I'm sleeping at home on this, on my cot, in my tent, with my Western Mountaineering sleeping bags. This is heaven. I mean, it really, really is. I roughed it a lot when I was young, and I did a lot of on-the-ground camping. It didn't bother me a bit. But these days, I really enjoy comfort, comfort and warmth. And this provides it. It does pack down pretty small. I mean, as you can see... I packed it down to about 9 inches, and they say it's about 10 inches, so um, it's pretty easy to pack down small. Fits in the bag real easily. It weighs about 5.5 pounds. Um, it costs, uh, it's uh, March of 2024, and the price on this is like $260. Um, not cheap. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't anticipate having any problem with this. I've never had to add air to it. Um, and like I say, even if I forget the pump, I don't need it. Uh, but that's me. Anyways, uh, this is a, a fantastic cold weather sleep pad. If you can afford the bulk and the weight and the price, this is like sleeping at home. Um, I, I've read forums where people have said, oh, it's as good as sleeping home on my own mattress. And people are responding and say, I hate to see a kind of crappy mattress you sleep in at home. And here I am, I sleep on an X-Bed Mega Mat Max, and I have a bed frame I made for it, and I'm doing just fine. Um, but anyways, I've really enjoyed this uh, camp pad. Um, I will continue to enjoy it for years to come, I'm sure. Um, super warm, super comfortable. Um, so if you're looking for a, a pad um, for maybe base camp applications, um, this is a really good option. There's others out there. Uh, Thermarest, uh, Mondo King, I believe. Uh, 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 REI has one called the Dreamweaver or something. Um, but this is the one that I settled on. It just seemed to be exactly what I wanted. And it, I've been very pleased with it. So, I think that wraps it up. My review of the XPED Mega Map 10 LXW self-inflating camp pad. Uh, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and the like button. That'll help me out. Um, I'll continue to bring you more videos on winter camping and all the gear I got and the procedures I use. So have fun out there winter camping and I'll catch you on the next video.